grace, appropriately, the free unmerited love and favor of God, the spring and source of all the benefits men receive from Him. Hello everyone, this is Youth Following Christ and today I come with a message and the subject today is grace. So many times we blame ourselves and others for wrong that has been done and some of it may be good because I believe in being accountable for our action and nothing is wrong with constructive criticism I think however I think that we need to have grace and mercy for others and even ourselves and now I'll just go through a few scriptures in Second Corinthians twelve nine, it says and he said unto me my grace is sufficient for thee for my strength is made perfect in weakness most gladly therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me so right there you see the Lord's grace is sufficient and Paul is speaking here is when he was given you know the thorn in the flesh you know read that whole chapter 12 to get the whole context but um you see in this verse um for my strength is made perfect in weakness if you have like a weakness or something don't fret about it you know the Lord's grace is sufficient for you and you know rather you know glory in, in your infirmities you know it's because it says most gladly therefore will I rather glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me so that the power of Christ may rest on you in Ephesians chapter 2 in verse 8 it says for by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God not of works lest any man should boast so you see it's by grace are ye saved through faith and that not of yourselves is the gift of God so you see it's by grace and it's not by your own works what you do or anything God had grace for you in salvation right despite the wrong we, we, you know, we've done in the past sinning right so I would think you know since you know us being saved by by grace and all now in, in the Christian life we should have grace for others too and not be hard on ourselves all the time you know but glory in our infirmities you know because you know his strength is made perfect in weakness God you know so the next verse I wanted to read is in Romans six fourteen, and it says for sin shall not have dominion over you for ye are not under the law but under grace right so another reference to to grace you're not under the law, but under grace. People are trying to put us under the law. You know, the Roman Catholics are good at this. You know, teaching their sacraments and, you know, you have to do this and that. And, and, and other religions too, you know, saying that you need to, um, if you do this, you're going to lose your salvation. And the Pentecostals, you know, do that. Charismatics, if you don't speak in tongues or, or if you blaspheme the Holy Ghost or something, but no. For sin shall not have dominion over you, for ye are not under the law, but under grace. Right? So the next verse I want to read um, is Hebrews 4.16. Let us therefore come boldly, boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. So you see there, let us co therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy, you know, ask God for mercy, 
and find grace to help in the t in in time of need, right? That's something we need. We need mercy to obtain mercy. That's something I pray about also. And in Colossians 3, verse 13, it says, Forbearing one another and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. So you see right there, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do you. So you see, even as Christ forgave you, you know, forgive one another, you know, forbear one another. Okay? So that's what I would say, you know, on, on grace, you know, just following the, what scripture says. So I do believe it's important to have grace for others and also have grace for yourselves too. Um, you know, some that could be a rough thing, and I understand it. You know, so, sometimes, you know, I I I struggle with that, but you know, I I have to re re remember that. You know, being hard on myself for for, for different things, but I I hope this message is an encouragement to you, and. Have grace for others, you know. And that'll be it for my message today. And goodbye. <laughs>